Hello and welcome everybody. This is Spiritual Findings with Gypsy Soul. I am your Gypsy, Vera Lynn. And today we're going to be doing a general reading for my Cancers for July 2019. Happy birthday to some of you guys. Now when I say general reading, this is going to cover your love, your career, your soul story, what's going on for July. We do have a lot that's going on with the planets and solar and lunar eclipse guys, okay? I'll get into that in a little bit. So I'm out here in nature. I'm actually doing this reading off grid. No electricity, no cell phone service, no running water. I just have a little cabin here on top of the mountain. I'm very grounded. It feels very nice. So I feel like some of you guys might need to take that day trip, okay? Go out, kick your shoes off, you know, go to the beach, you know, take a hike, whatever it might be, a little spa day even, okay, Cancers? Really heal your energy, okay? You need some time for yourself. So last year I did some readings off-grid and I had some spirit animals pop in the video so if there's anything that I see during the reading or I hear I will make note of it and I'll tell you a little bit about the spirit animal as well as you could do your research or comment below for more knowledge about it all right guys so let's see here with July we do have a lot going on on the second is a solar eclipse in your sign on the third Venus enters your sign and we also have a lunar eclipse in Capricorn okay there's also a retrograde on the seventh Mercury turns retrograde in Leo it will go direct on the 31st and on the same day there is a new moon in Leo. If you guys have any questions about what I just went over, comment below. I am quick to reply as well as you're welcome to do your own research on what planet and what sign or different eclipses in different signs mean. I know I'll just briefly go over that the solar eclipse in your sign is going to bring out more family re related um you know i don't want to necessarily say issues but it'll bring more family related things into your life okay the lunar eclipse is usually a little bit more emotional lunar as you guys know the your moon the moon is a little bit more your inner personality okay not so much the soul the sun side the solar you know the more social side of you okay so the lunar eclipse in Capricorn is going to bring us to focus a little bit more on our responsibilities in life. Okay, guys? All right. So before I do the reading, I just wanted to say that there is a giveaway that I will be talking about at the end of the reading, at, at the end of this video. It's It has a healer's basket. You know, anybody in the U.S., all you have to do is subscribe, share, all the rules. You can find it in the description box below or at the end of the video. I'll talk more about it. But it's got a salt lamp, a tarot deck, tapestry, sage, all kinds of really good stuff, guys. So check it out. It's Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul's one-year anniversary. We'll, we're, we're celebrating July 31st. I'm going to do a live stream where I will pull a name out of the hat. So anybody who wants to you know join the giveaway it's a lot of fun if you don't end up getting a basket you might get yourself a free reading on the live stream okay go ahead and sit, hit that notification bell if you want to join us in the live streams prior i uh you know do certain days where i'll do free readings as well as i do paid private readings um and you know i do different stuff on the live streams it's very educational it's a fun community shout out to my family here my spirit family that's on the live streams my cancers you know it's a lot of fun chatting amongst each other you know doing tarot and talk it's a lot of fun all right guys so let's see here i do have the angels and the fairies here i'm probably going to pull one from the the fairies at the end of this deck because we are on top of the mountain very earth element here i feel so grounded so at home you know my insight my intuition is feels deeper i'm telling you guys get out in nature you know get away from that cell phone the hustle bustle of life and really connect you guys are a water sign so maybe find yourself by a little stream okay all right Let's see here, for my Cancers, July 2019, happy birthday to some of you guys. Oh, all right, let's see here. Okay, that's what I'm feeling, this guy, these two want to come out too. I usually only pull a couple cards for this reading, but if they fall out, it's messages that need to be 
you know, brought to you. So, let's see here. What do we got going on for my cancers? We have a lot going on. A lot. I think it was my Aries who got a spread like this. They usually do four cards and they got eight cards too as well. So a lot of stuff going on guys. Very excited for you. You're starting off with the nine of cups and then you're moving to the seven of cups. Then you have the eight of pentacles followed by the ace of pentacles. Down below you have the world card. You also have the queen of pentacles, the fool followed by the temptress. All right, guys, so there's a lot of influences going on here. Um, I feel that there might be a Sagittarius, perhaps, in your life with the Tempest being an influence here at the end. For some of you guys who are single, maybe you'll find yourself with a Sagittarius. Okay. There's a lot going on. I feel you have a lot of choices, whether it's literally pack up your things and go. <laughs> get out of that toxic relationship or you know this relationship that has just ended up loveless some of you guys I also feel are stuck in a dead-end career and we need to make choices or perhaps you haven't even gotten that far yet you're kind of just at the pathways of your life where you don't know where which career path to really you know step into you know send your resumes out whatever it might be there's a lot of choices of a lot of different companies what i have to recommend is make sure that they follow with your moral standards okay it keeps you interested and that you feel an asset okay all right my cancers don't go to any places that you're just not quite sure and you know the morals just might not go you know they might clash with yours as well as you might not be respected so don't choose that path for some of you guys who are currently in that path there's a lot of options here for you okay with you having the seven of cups as you can see there's just so many different choices for um this young man to choose behind and really when it comes down to it the fact that you have so many choices don't let that keep you from making any, okay? Whether it's, you know, coming to a place to live, whether it's finding your own place, moving back with the parents, or getting a roommate, or whatever it is, you have so many choices, don't let that keep you stagnant and from actually moving on because you have so many choices and you're afraid to make the, you know, the right, the wrong one. You're afraid to make the wrong one. You want to make the right one. You're not quite sure. Maybe talk it amongst somebody. Maybe that's what the Tempest card here is for. That, you know, you need that Sagittarius to try to kind of talk to. Okay? It could be it could be literally a sibling. It could be a friend. It could be, you know, a Sagittarius friend. Or maybe just take that Sagittarius point of view. Okay? The, the Sagittarius, they are the truth seekers of the Zodiac sign, my Cancer. So maybe it's time for you to find the truth in your situation. Okay, there's going to be, you're going to put your, your skill set at work here. You have the eight of pentacles, so you're going to be working hard. You're going to be putting your skills forward or perhaps even getting more skill sets your own. Maybe being more independent is going to push you to try things that you haven't before, you know, kind of move out of your comfort zone. Maybe this is a new area of education, you know, getting certified. There's a lot of different things going on in this card, but you can see hard at work, okay? You can see that he threw a pentacle aside there. So, you know, he messed up. He's just like, you know, whatever, I'm going to keep at it though, okay? You have the Ace of Pentacles, which is one of the best cards to really get in the whole deck. It's an opportunity, okay? It's really finding what you want in life, manifesting, um, you know, materialistic items. Perhaps some of you are going to come into an inheritance or a promotion or something. There's going to be a finance career, mm, you know, maybe a good place to live. Maybe some of you guys are seeking a new house and you'll find, um, you know, the perfect little house. Just don't give up on it, okay? There's going to be an opportunity, so hang in there. Right after the Ace of Pentacles, you are presented with the World card. And it just gets better and better and better. You have the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Fool, and you have the Temperance. So it's really, you're finding a balance with your emotions, you're finding a balance with your finances, and you're being free again. You're living the life as the Fool, which don't take that as a bad 
card right now. Take it as you're being youthful. You're being spirited. You're being outgoing again. You're doing what you love in life, Cancer, okay? Look at this card. Yes, he's he, he might be labeled the fool, but look how happy he is, okay? Let me zoom in on this card. Look how happy he is. He's enjoying the sun. He's got his canine companion. You know, he's has he has a beautiful view. He's dressed very well. He's got this, the little belongings, which tells me that you guys need to enjoy the simple things in life. Okay, he has a rose in his hands, which symbolizes love. The dog symbolizes instinct. So go with your gut when it comes to um, this issue, this problem, this change in life. Go with your gut. Okay, kind of think like the dog. Maybe that is your spirit animal um to go with your instincts you know dogs are really good with their instincts they can tell when things are coming they can sense things on a level that we cannot okay so go with your gut go with your heart go with your instincts okay and I, I feel if we really balance things out with our emotions, our finances, and just feeling free again of being positive and optimistic cancer it's just going to be blissful. It's going to be a blissful summer. I do see maybe pushing out and for some of you guys who do have that July birthday, do something special for yourself. You know, if nobody else is really has the time or whatever, maybe that's your spa day. Just go out and celebrate. Do what you love. Do things that you've been wanting to do for a while. Try it once. It won't kill you, right? All right, my cancers. There's a lot that needs to be said. The sun comes out as I finish your reading, so it is just telling me that you need to move forth with your goals and don't let anybody stop you. You know, some people might tell you you're crazy or, you know, maybe you're not thinking with your head or that's a little silly, but don't let them push you aside. Don't let them, don't let them let you push your dreams aside. That's really what I should say. All right, so I'm gonna feel, I'm feeling one from the fairies. We, we are out, you know, on top of a mountain, off grid here, I'm connecting with mother nature. I'm gonna pull one from the fairies deck for you. But before I do so, um, you know, I, do, I, I don't want you guys to miss out on this opportunity for the giveaway. They are fun. You can get a free reading while we wait for the raffle on July 31st, 9 p.m. Eastern time. There's a lot of really good things in this gift basket. Um, I am doing this only for my U.S. subscribers just because it is a heavy <laughs> box that I will be shipping out. So unfortunately, I can't afford that. We're not at the point yet of spiritual findings with the gypsy soul where I can do international and you know giveaways but we will one day i am manifesting it i do have a goal by my birthday august 31st to have at least 8,000 subscribers minimum you know i love the off-grid life i'm not too big on the cell phone so i unfortunately don't have everything like the instagram um, the Twitters, all that stuff. I only have Facebook, which you guys can join the community. The link is below for our Facebook. Um, you know, I'll let you know when I'm going live. I post some spiritual stuff. Um, it's a very nice community on there too as well. But you know, just for this, this box, you can find the rules below. I will have a picture at the end of the video of everything that is in it because obviously I didn't want to bring the box here off grid because it has a lot of stuff. It's pretty heavy, so I'll just show a picture of it after the video. But yeah, it's got a lot of good stuff in it. You can get your own tarot deck, salt lamp, all kinds of stuff like I was saying, guys. All you have to do is subscribe, share. Um, you know, comment below that you've done so, and all the rules are below, or like I said, at the end of the video. So, I appreciate it, guys, okay? It is our, it has been our one-year anniversary, so I'm so proud to see where this channel has, has moved to. It's grown so quickly, so fast. Um, there, there is such a family sense here on the channel, and if you guys would want to join the live streams, hit that notification bell. It'll tell you when I am currently live. That way you guys can jump on, chat with me, perhaps get a free reading, you know, shout out to all my cancer subscribers that have been on the chat lines. You guys know it is so fun. Um, it's, it's just very spiritual, you know, it is educational, and we, there's just a loving vibe behind it, okay? All right, guys, so I'm going to pull one from the fairies. Let's see here. I hope you guys like my setup, too. I wish I could read like this all the time, but unfortunately, I'm not able to live off-grid yet like I would like to. 
one of my dreams is to have a spiritual community you know living off grid a green life you know it, it's just something that I've always been geared to so eventually you'll be seeing in the near future our little spiritual retreat that's my goal I'm manifesting that guys you guys need to manifest your dreams too <laughs> Comment below if any of you guys are into the off-grid, you know, mountain or rough terrain type of lifestyle. It is uh, very exhilarating. So we had a card that popped out here. And immediately I think like your birthday celebration or something like getting out there with your family because travel. An upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways guys this really fits in with your reading here because you know you need to put in the work you need to find what you kind of put your responsibilities out there your pros and cons what you need to take away from life what do you need to add in life what you need to focus on things like that once you take those opportunities and you get your finances all set it is time to live so this summer is going to be great for you guys maybe you want to you know book that trip now even if it's something so simple so you can look forward to it okay let me zoom in on this card sun's all over the place today so look how beautiful that card is guys okay so travel an upcoming trip choose proves to be a life-changing wait life-changing in positive ways sorry i'm reading that backwards on the camera it's kind of funny but i managed but yes it is so beautiful i love this deck this is the fairies guys we're out on top of the mountain we're living it right here you guys need to ground yourself more kick off them shoes do some research about grounding guys it's very important it's very healing for mind body and soul okay and don't forget that meditation too all right guys so this sums up our reading if you would like a private reading you can comment below or email me but i hope to see you guys on the live streams as well as don't forget about that giveaway okay thanks for tuning in guys this is spiritual findings with the gypsy soul i am your gypsy Veer Lynn, you guys have a beautiful July.